Hello, travelers. Welcome to or welcome back to Traveling Beyond Boundaries. My name is Michelle. Ah, today we're going to talk about... <laughs> about the oven at my parents' house and how it plays magical tunes. Um, today we're going to talk about who cruising is for. So a lot of people are like, mm, I'm not sure if cruising is for me. M maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Today I'm going to tell you why cruising might be for you. So... In my experience, the people that cruising is for are those with ADHD or any sort of boredomness or short term tolerance to things. So for some people, they can go and sit on a beach for a week and be perfectly happy um, to stay in one location, anything like that. Or maybe you're the kind of person that likes the slow travel. I've realized that that is not me, even though my this channel used to be our slow, simple travel. We are not slow travelers. Maybe you like to really immerse yourself in a culture, stay in one location for a long time, experience everything that that city has to offer, or that area has to offer. If that is for you, cruising is probably not your best choice. If you have a short attention span and want to just get in, learn a few quick facts, have a quick tour and pop out, then cruising is for you i don't know what the tv is doing um yeah so for us we love cruising because we can be on the ship and we have one location as our home base with our room we unpack once and we don't need to unpack again and then every night while we are sleeping while we're sleeping i mean or sometimes during the day if it's a sea day we're moving to our new destination. We don't have to pack up our stuff. We don't have to hop on a train and try to figure out how to get from point A to point B. We just sleep. We go to a show. We have a meal. We go for a swim. We can do whatever we want and then magically show up at the next destination, have a quick tour um, or walk around or whatever we're doing at that port, get back on the ship and away we go again. Um, food is amazing. If you don't want to deal with trying to figure out food and you're just like, give me all the food ever for includedness, cruising. If you're like, I like to go see a bunch of variety of different shows and music and entertainment, cruising. If you have any sort of special needs, whether that's mobility or um, anything like Down syndrome, autism, anything like that, cruising is probably your best bet. Um, dietary restrictions, cruising, seriously. Um, but mostly, mostly it comes down to your style. If you want to, like I said, fully immerse yourself in a culture and like eat the food all the time and slow down and see a bunch of different places and spend hours upon hours in one location, cruising is probably not for you. Most of the time you're in cruise port for maximum around 12 hours. Occasionally, if you're lucky, depending on the itinerary, you might be overnight, but that's kind of rare and it kind of depends on the cruise line and the, and the itinerary in general. Um, a lot of the times you're just in and out. For us, we only need like three hours in a port and we're happy with that. We don't really need much longer than that. Um, we just kind of like want to do a quick walk through, quick bus tour. Um, even when we've been to like on land vacations and we've done like museums and stuff, we like bullet it through museums because we aren't one to stand around and listen and walk or um, read all the things. We just want a quick, quick look around see what we can see and eh, been there, done that, move on with life. So if that's your personality, if you want just like a quick sample, if you want a buffet of cruise or of destinations in one week, if you want to see a bunch of different places in a week, cruising, that is two cruisings for us. those of us with short attention spans and not the need to be immersed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We are about to head on our seven night uh, Bahamas cruise and then later this month or in a month to our 11 night Alaska cruise and my daughter's fussing and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.